Imagine a digital clock which displays your real-time blood sugar readings. It's not a joke, I have one right here and it's been a game changer for me. Since I started using this blood sugar clock, it completely transformed the way I manage my own blood sugar levels. There is no more fumbling for meters, CGM readers or phones. This bad boy made checking my blood sugar literally as easy as checking the time. Just a quick glance on the display and I have all the info I need. I love that thing so much that I got a second unit for my living room and a third unit for my bedroom. It literally changed my life. But I know you have been asking a lot of questions about this blood sugar clock. What is it called, how it works and where you can get it. And today is the day I'll spill all the details. Let's go. Big thanks to Custom Type 1 for making this video possible. The official name of this blood sugar clock as I call it is Sugar Pixel and its main function is to display your real-time glucose readings from your continuous glucose monitor aka CGM. It also provides customized alerts but more about that a bit later in this video. The display is about 3 by 7 inches in size and it allows you to view your data either in milligrams per deciliter or in millimoles per liter, regardless of what country you're in or what CGM you're using. In the box I found the display itself along with the USB-C cable and charging port and a vibration puck. This vibration puck has been a game changer, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. The blood sugar clock offers plenty display options. You can pick and even customize the one you like the best in the sugar Pixel app. Yes, this thing has its own app, which looks awesome. It's really easy to navigate and it connects to the blood sugar clock via Bluetooth. My personal favorite display options are these big fat digits with the big fat arrow. It looks really good in my videos. But another reason why I absolutely love this display option is that I can see the most important information about my blood sugar from very far away. So even when both of my hands are busy when I'm cooking or playing with my daughter, with the display being placed on a shelf across the living room, I can still keep my eye on the numbers. Another great display option is this one, which gives you not only the glucose number and trend arrow, but it also shows a delta from the previous reading, plus an indication of how many minutes passed since the last reading was displayed. By the way, the blood sugar number updates every 5 minutes if you use Dexcom or every 60 seconds or so if you use Freestyle Libre. But whenever you're not in the mood for all the data points and you just want to take a break from the blood sugar numbers, that's totally fine. We've all been there. You can simply unplug the sugar pixel completely or change the display option to something less stressful and more entertaining. The device can do slang words, emojis and a lot more. That's a unicorn right here. Now sugar pixel works with all major CGM models. Dexcom G7, Dexcom G6, Freestyle Libre 3 and the updated version of Freestyle Libre 2. That's the Libre 2 version that you don't need to scan. You can also connect sugar pixel via third party apps like Night Scout or Gluru if you're using those. Now to make it clear, the CGM sensors don't send the glucose data directly to the blood sugar clock behind me. The sugar pixel as well as your phone need to be connected to the internet for the system to be able to receive and display your real-time glucose readings. Now if you're not tech savvy, don't worry. Setting this bad boy up is really simple. You just scan the QR code provided in the box and follow the instructions. It's basically a plug and play device. You just select what CGM system you use and log in to your Dexcom or Libre link up account. It literally took me less than five minutes to get that thing going with both Dexcom and Freestyle Libre. By the way, I tested the Sugar Pixel and it works seamlessly with both of these brands. I was even able to use both of the sensors at the same time. And that's another great feature of this display because it lets you view the glucose of two people at the same time on a single device on a single screen. Another cool feature of the Sugar Pixel display is that it changes colors. So when you're in range, for example, the color color is green. But whenever your blood sugar goes high or low, the colors and or emojis, if you're using those, change depending on your settings. You can also tweak all the color ranges yourself directly in a dedicated app. The next feature of the system I really love are customizable alarms. When your blood sugar gets too high or too low, the device will alert you through speakers located on the back side of the box and or this vibration puck, depending on if you're using audio alerts, vibration or both. The system has three volume options, but I can assure you that both the speakers and the puck can get really loud if needed. That's why even if you tend to sleep through your CGM alarms, this thing will definitely wake you up. Let me show you how loud this thing can get. Right now my BG is 98, so I'm gonna put my low blood sugar alert to 100. Whenever I do this, that's the lowest volume. And that's high volume. 
crazy, right? By the way, the alert sounds are randomly generated, so your brain doesn't get started used to them easily. If you want to be more discreet and not wake up everyone else in the house, you can use a vibrate-only mode and place the puck under the pillow or under the fitted sheet. But the best thing for me is that whenever your alarm goes off, there is no need to mess around with your phone or your receiver to turn the alarm off. The only thing you need to do is to smash the snooze button on the blood sugar clock. And you can smash the like button under this video too, you know what I mean? By the way, the alarm levels are fully customizable. You can set them anywhere between 40 and 400 for both high and low alerts. And the snooze interval is customizable as well, anywhere between 5 minutes and 2 hours for low blood sugar events and up to 4 hours for high blood sugar events. Now I completely get it. Everything I said so far about sugar pixel might just sound too good to be true. So before you click the link down below and order one, let me share a few more thoughts about potential challenges with this device. By the way, if you want to message me directly, the best place to do that is my Patreon. I respond to every question from my patrons and if you join, you can also watch my bonus content and support my channel. The Patreon membership is not expensive, it costs 7 bucks a month, but the spots in my Patreon group are limited because I want to make sure that I have enough time to interact with all of you who join. So go ahead, click the link down below and join while you still can. Now let's talk about a couple issues you might have with this device. The blood sugar clock doesn't really provide you all the data that your Dexcom or Libre app does. So to make it clear, it cannot fully replace them, especially when you want to look at your data more holistically. But when you think about it, you really only need three pieces of information about your blood glucose most of the time, 99% of the time. And that's your glucose value, your glucose trend, and the delta between the last two readings. Everything else is just noise, 99% of the time. Time. That's why the main reason I've been recommending SugarPixel to my friends is that when it comes to viewing my data, I find this minimalist approach very convenient and extremely practical, especially because it's 100% hands-free. It's a lot less hustle to quickly glance at the display in any situation and not having to pull up my phone, my reader or my instrument pump. And not having to stare at the phone screen, especially in the middle of the night, definitely improved the overall quality of my sleep. By the way, if you have the display in your bedroom, you can reduce the brightness to a complete minimum, so it won't disturb you. One more thing you should absolutely consider is that SugarPixel is classified as so-called secondary medical device. It means that it was not approved by FDA or any other regulators, and technically you should not rely on it for any medical decisions. Now to be fully transparent, I completely do rely on it, but that's not what you should do, and I have to make sure that you understand that. But what it also means that although SugarPixel is an awesome piece of tech, it's fully dependent on the data from your CGM. So if Dexcom or Abbott ever decide to flip the switch and turn off the data stream, SugarPixel might be in trouble. Now I have absolutely no reason to believe this will happen, but I just want you to keep that in mind. Another thing is that, as you probably figured by now, SugarPixel is not made of premium materials. It doesn't come in a fancy package. It's not sexy, but it's affordable. By the way, I have had the honor to meet the person behind SugarPixel, who's been a contributor to multiple diabetes DUII projects. And it's so great to see that devices like this one are coming to the market from the diabetes community and not only from Big Pharma. Although it shows 98 right now, this bad boy cost 99 bucks. I wanted to get 99 there, but it's not that easy to do it. If you want to get one or a couple of them, click on the link in the video description. By doing that and ordering through that link, you can support my channel. By the way, have you heard about non-invasive blood sugar monitoring watches yet? Just recently I tested three of them and I was really surprised with the results. If you want to know more, just click here and watch my video about these non-invasive blood sugar monitoring watches next. I will see you there. Ciao!